Hello friends. In our previous session, we tried to understand what is health and what is disease, and on the basis of various factors, we also classified them appropriately. But to test what we have retained, today I want you to consider yourself as a doctor or a medical inspector and rack your brain to investigate some cases or problems placed before you. You will get only five seconds to solve them. So let's begin. Kelly is not keeping well since she drank contaminated water. Which disease might she be suffering from? And the options are Yes, it's cholera as it is a waterborne disease. After using her friend's sunglasses, Steffi suffered from a communicable disease. So identify the disease. And the options are Correct. It's conjunctivitis as it spreads indirectly via objects. Jack ate outside few days ago. It is reported that he suffers from flu. Identify the type of the disease. And the options are Yes, that's right, as flu is an airborne disease. Brock suffers from defective organ formation, a medical condition which is present in him since birth. Identify the type of the disease. And the options are It's the congenital disease, as they are present since birth. Eva's grandpa died suddenly due to a severe heart attack. Identify the type of the disease. Yes, it's the acute disease as they are sudden and severe in nature. Dan's locality is a breeding ground for rats and mosquitoes, due to which he suffered from malaria. Identify the type of the disease. Malaria spreads through flies, hence it is a vector-borne disease. Jenny's father suffers from a long-term and progressive diabetes since he was 48 years old. Identify the type of the disease. Yes, he is suffering from chronic disease as it is present since many years. Yesterday on his way to school, Ajay drank water from his bottle and ate few slices of bread jam. Today he complains of having stomach ache. Perfect! It's the food bond disease, as it happened due to eating expired jam. Now let's move on to our last section. Find the odd disease out. Are all four transmitted through same mode? If not, then pick out the incorrect one. Yes, except anthrax, all are vector-borne diseases. Non-communicable diseases like cardiovascular disease, meningitis, cancers, diabetes kill nearly 38 million people each year. But wait, something is wrong here. Identify. Absolutely correct. Meningitis is an exception as it is a communicable disease. So the big question here is, why do we study all this? Yes, to know all this is important as every human being is the author of his or her own health and disease. With knowledge as an instrument, we should try to understand disease better in order to fight them. I bet you'll have something to say and more to learn. So come back here to watch our upcoming sessions and do subscribe and make learning fun. 
सो स्टे ट्यून स्टे अपडेटेड एंड फॉलो योर क्यूरियोसिटी